do other ourselves. I'm Carrie Toft, and I want to first thank Anne for inviting her friends and family to my first uh, Shared Rewards uh, Pampered Chef show. Um, Shared Rewards is a, a relatively new thing for Pampered Chef, and I really like the idea, and I think Anne kind of grabbed onto that as well. Um, many folks, you know, that have um, been cooking a long time already have a stocked kitchen and probably don't need a whole whole new set of something, but um, getting a few items is always nice and they always come out with some new things. And it, with a shared rewards, everybody gets the same uh, percentage off. So Anne doesn't receive hostess benefits as in uh, the typical uh, party, but you all, as you order anything over a 200 show, everyone gets the same percentage off what they purchase. So um, that's one benefit of a shared rewards, as well as um, Anne will also get 40% off uh, any one item or set on any future uh, shows that are booked from her show. And if there are three shows booked from her show, then she would get $50 to use in the future at one of those shows. So I just wanna quickly, we did a little bit of housekeeping before others jumped on, um, but um, it sounds like folks can hear me, which is good. Um, and I, I've seen chat, so that means we are getting that. Um, this is the first time I've used YouTube. Um, I wanna thank Anne, uh, she, she helped instigate uh, me learning a whole lot of new things in the last two weeks, which is always good. Um, one is uh, there is a, a new platform that Pampered Chef uses to host these virtual parties, and that's called The Table, and that's what some of you signed into. Um, you don't have to go there, but um, it does help bring the party together. Um, your link to this YouTube video um, is in there. There's a button on the upper right-hand corner if you want to shop. It's there, but you can also just go in through the, the Pampered Chef website with um, my name um, when you do find hostess or find a party, that would be Ann's name. So you could go that route as well. Um, I was trying to figure out, could I hear you guys? And it doesn't sound like I can get, um, it's not a two way video on this. So um, I guess I will just rely on seeing people chat. So if you have a question, feel free to throw something in there. Um, Anne has uncovered that uh, to use YouTube, you do need to have a Gmail account. So there may be some of you that are on, but I can't, I can't tell, but um, we will work around that. So what I'm going to do um, when I start to demo, I am going to readjust my camera. So we are focused on um, the prep of the recipe. Um, the way that the flow of tonight's show is, first I'll demonstrate making the classic taco ring recipe. Um, this is, I, I used to do Pampered Chef probably 25 years ago, and this was one of the favorites. So I kind of went back retro and I'll show you how to do that. Um, then I will talk a little bit about the February and March specials, as well as um, they just announced the new spring products that will be available March 1st. And then we'll wrap up. And for any of those of you that are able to hang on to the video till the end, we will have a door prize drawing. So to start with for the demonstration, and let me just adjust the camera, sorry about that, but I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um, I preheated the oven to 375 and I pre-cooked my hamburger. And this is one pound hamburger and I'm using the mix and scrape, the medium sized mix and scrape. You wanna get your hamburger into you know, a, more of a crumbly state for this because you're going to be using um, the, the stainless steel scoop. I want to just show you uh, the pan first. I find this, this interesting with, with some of the things that um, Pampered Chef has to offer. I got this, this is a 10 inch skillet and I just got this about a week and a half ago and I liked it. And then as I started using it, now I'm like in love with this. It is a nonstick, 10 inch skillet. I have cooked eggs on here. You don't have to put anything in the pan. Plus I found out, you can't see it on the camera, but it's got, it's a really pretty uh, blue. Um, so 
just a nice thing to, I mean, if you're looking for a good skillet, I have a whole set of Pampered Chef from before, but really pleased with that new item. So what I'm gonna do is I've put the hamburger in the classic batter bowl. I have mentioned this in a number of my other videos if you've spent time um, looking at those. It has the, on the outside, the cups as well as ounces. So you don't have to necessarily measure things um, with another measuring spoon. And then it has a nice sturdy handle and pour spout. This does also come with a, a lid that you can put into the refrigerator if you have extras. This also is dishwasher safe as well as oven safe. First, I'm going to add in the um, a cup and a half of shredded cheese. And I'm gonna use the easy read. You can see that there's measurements on the side of this. And I'm just going to measure up a measure a cup and a half of shredded cheese. And this one, the one cup is not fully to the top. But now what I like is I can do another half cup and I don't need to, I don't need to dirty another measuring cup. I can just use the one I already have because it has all the measurements I need. We're gonna save some of the cheese um, to, the, to the end. And then I'm going to also add, uh, Pampered Chef has a full line of spices and rubs. This is called Everything Taco. Uh, and we're gonna add about three tablespoons of this. Um, what I'm using is the stackable measuring spoons, which I'd like if you're, if you're, you know, got tight space and you're trying to, um, have an organized kitchen. I, I like these. Um, they're easy to, to read. I think I'm gonna just use two. It's pretty, pretty strong. Okay, and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of water and here's a cute little, it comes in a set, the easy, uh, easy read. This is two tablespoons of water. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna take out two crescent rolls, two packages of eight count crescent rolls. Um, they recommend that you keep these refrigerated until you're gonna use them or they get a, a bit sticky. And here's where the, the taco ring magic really starts. So you take the, the triangle pieces and you start laying them out, you leave you leave a little center and you start overlapping. And you can see how I'm leaving, no, you can't see how I'm leaving. I'm leaving a little bit of the triangle out over the edge, you see that. I find that back in the day when we had all our kids at home and you're trying to make a supper after you're working, you know, things with crescent rolls really went over big. That's something warm, bready, and easy. So I got one more package. And just 
as I mentioned, just overlap a little bit. And the thing with this taco ring is that tonight I'm making taco ring, but tomorrow I could make the same type of thing, but switch the, uh, the ingredients for the filling and have a, a chicken cranberry spread or um, something different, what, whatever you want to fill the inside with. Okay, so now I'm going to take the um, ro Baker's roller. What I, what I like about this is you can see it's a very short rolling pin and it's two-sided. On the this side, it's really an actual curved end so you can get into really tight places like a pie tin. Um, this is nice because if you're working with smaller pans and we're just going to roll a little bit to get the, the seams down. Now, if it's sticky, you could use, Pampered Chef has these nice little flower shaker containers. We don't need a lot, but it keeps the, and the new ones now are, this is ancient, but the new ones are now um, metal, which are even nicer. You wanna leave a little bit of the opening. Okay. So as I mentioned, we're gonna take, this is the uh, large scoop. And we're gonna fill our ring. So what I do is I press up against the side of the batter ball. And this, you can spread it out as you get the scoops in there. And you will see the, the meat mixture through. It's not the, the ring isn't going to hide all the meat mixture. Okay, so now we're going to assemble the ring and it's super easy. So you just take the ends of the pieces that are hanging off the stone and you just tuck them in and you work it around. That's what I really like about Pampered Chef is they always have easy recipes that taste really good. Even when you make a mess like I did. Pinch that a little bit. A little bit of that. Okay, so you see how easy it is to make the ring. Now I'm going to take, um, I've actually already uh, separated my egg. I want some egg whites. This is an older um, egg separator, but they do have a Another egg separator that you can, if you don't have one, you, you, you always need one. And then I'm going to use the mini whisk. This is the two cup prep bowl that I'm using. What I like about these prep bowls is they, they too are dishwasher safe, oven safe, really easy to clean. Plus they come with a lid. And then I'm going to use the uh, silicone basting brush. What, what I like here is you can see it has a hook. So let's say you're doing barbecue, you can set it on the edge 
it holds what you're you're working with. And I'm just basting a little egg white on each one of these crescent rolls. We'll give it a nice browning in the oven. If you have any questions, make sure you chat them in. I can actually see the chat. Okay. And then I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top and pop it in the oven. And then in the meantime, we'll, we'll prepare a few more garnishes for the ring. And then this is gonna bake for uh, 25 to 30 minutes. You can, what I have it on is actually the large uh, stone. Uh, it's not the, they now have another stone called the pizza stone, but this is just the large round stone. It doesn't have a lip. The pizza stones now have a lip. Give me a second. And then I'm going to take the Pampered Chef timer. We'll put 25, clear it. 25 minutes. This has a magnet on the back. This is one of the older ones, but um, it, it can also sit on your counter. All right, and in the meantime, um, we'll do the, the different garnishes. And it says it's trying to reconnect. Should the meat be cool? So I'm going to start with the prep of the other ingredients. I'm going to be using the, um, I'm going to cut the lettuce using the salad chopper and the glass mixing bowl. Uh, this is the salad chopper, which is kind of a unique contraption. It has two blades that cut through the, uh, the lettuce. So I'm going to take some lettuce and just Cut through. I gotta use my other hand. Sherry, it just or Carrie, it just came through. I can see you again. Good. And I don't have I don't have anyone in the house, so they shouldn't even be using my my bandwidth. But I do live in the country, so that could be part of it. So this is just going to be used on the taco ring for garnishing. Get a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how um, we're, I'm going to make a bowl for the center to hold my taco sauce. So what I'm using is called the V-cut knife, and you can use this. Most, most bakers have one of these um, or cooks, and they use it for drizzling really pretty frostings or chocolates. But you can also use it for this where I'm just going to go around my pepper. and make a decorative cut. So you can think about if you're, you know, you might be going out taking an appetizer somewhere and you can, you can see, I'm gonna clean out the insides. We can use this later for uh, chopped peppers. 
But I'm just gonna clean out the insides a bit. And then I will fill it when the time comes with the taco sauce. I'm gonna to need to have some tomatoes. So I'm going to uh, dice them with my large chef knife. Sherry has another question, Carrie. What is the name of that tool? Oh, the, the uh, let's see, I wanna make sure I'm talking. This one is called the V, see it's a V, the V knife. If that's the tool, otherwise, um, this was the chopper, the lettuce chopper. For those of you that um, are into cooking and baking, you probably know that having a sharp, sharp knife is uh, instrumental um, in safety as well as in execution. Um, there is a Pampered Chef knife sharpener. And I have, it's been interesting after I've started using it to, you know, I can actually spot it on my knives when they actually get a little nick or ding. Um, Having a good cutting board, what I'm using right now is the, the large bar board and it ha it's made of polypropylene. So it's not going to hurt your knives and it's also not going to stain. Has a rubber measurement if you need measurements on the outside. But using a sharpener on a regular basis is really gonna give you a much better cut. Okay, so there's my tomatoes. And then I'm going to actually chop some onions. Now what I like to do, I'm gonna use the food chopper, but I like to, before I do that, I like to cut my onions in a, a smaller pieces to fit nicer in the chopper. This is the food chopper, um, I think, this is my second one. Um, I hand them down to my kids when I want a new one, but I feel like no kitchen could be without them. What's nice is they come apart so they're easy to clean, comes with a cylinder. Here's the, the blade guard, and then you can see kind of a fancy knife. <clears throat> and it comes open so it's easy to clean. As you push on the button on the top, the blades go in a circular motion and that's what moves your food around. So I'm just going to put my onions in there and then you just take out your frustrations. But you can see how nicely chopped, the more you chop, the finer it gets. And then I'm going to use um, what's called the egg slicer plus. Uh, you can see it's got this metal band that we'll, we'll use to cut the black olives. But this pops out so it's easy to clean. And it has a little hole in here, well, not hole, but a divot in here for an egg. But you can use this for a lot of different things. You know, strawberries, bananas. I'm going to show you the black olives. Um, there are a couple different Pampered Chef tools that actually do some nice chopping or slicing. Uh, there's a larger version of this um, where you might want to do potatoes. Maybe you do air frying potato um, french fries. And that works good for that. And then I will unveil one of the new spring products later. That is another option. We've got about 13 minutes. Um, so I'm going to switch gears quickly and we'll be waiting for the, the end product out of the oven. So while we're doing that, um, because we got all the, the garnishes prepped, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the February Hostess special. So um, if Ann didn't do a share rewards, the Hostess special would have been 60% off two stone, stoneware items or sets. 
if the sales are over 200 and the guest and your one, this would be pertinent to you, you guys, the guest um, special is spend $80, get a free skinny scraper or spend a hundred and get the donut hole maker. It's the pan that you can make donut holes and uh, you get both if you spend 150. Um, when you look at March, if you're interested in being a March hostess, you can get 60% off of any item or set, including the new stand mixer when guest sales are over 200. And the new stand mixer is one of the new um, spring products and it's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, if any of you are familiar with KitchenAid, it looks a lot like the KitchenAid has all the same types of gadgets um, as that product. And then the March guests, uh, when they spend over 90, they get to pick one of three free items and over 150, they get free shipping. So I wanna move into the, sp the spring products a little bit. Um, I was amazed, they just announced them, I think it was this last week. Um, so you can go out there and, and look at new spring products. Um, there are 20 new products, which I thought was just amazing that they'd have that many new things come out. Um, the first one I'm gonna talk about is, many of you are aware of the Apple Wedger, which, um, well, I probably just have it right here. So um, just to give you an idea, this is, this is an Apple Wedger. And now they've come out with what's called the Stone Fruit Wedger. And what it is, is it's very much like this, but the inside is bigger and it will go around a pitted fruit. So if you want to wedge peaches, um, it, well, anything with, uh, anything with the, the pit in it. And um, so I know we use this a lot, especially in the fall with apples. Um, so it'll be a new addition. Um, so it'll be a new addition. Could you, could you do it with an avocado? Uh, I think so. Let me, it, it has a few examples. This is the new um, catalog too that just came out. And it's, I knew it was right in the beginning of the catalog. Let's see what it says. Peaches, nectarines, plums, and more in 12 wedges. Well, it doesn't say avocado necessarily. So um, not- Okay, it has an avocado as a pretty big pit. Right? Yeah. There are other products in the Pampered Chef line that do avocado. So it might, that one might not be it, the right match. Um, there's also, but thanks for asking, Anne. Um, we do have, this is one of the products that I know I'm definitely gonna get is called the cup slicer. So as I showed you with the egg slicer plus, um, it is now a box with blades in it. And all you do is push down on your, your things on top of much like the food chopper on, onto the cutting board and it chops as it, and it collects it in, in this cup. So I thought, oh, that looks really great. Like for strawberries a lot quicker than um, doing one at a time. You just go on the board and, and cut them. And then there's a dual sided cleaning brush. This is a what I would call for the kitchen sink um, when you need to get something you know that's very tiny with detail clean. It has a little brush and a little poker at the other end. Um, and then they have a solid cutting bowl. So these have been on the market um, but Pamper Chef is now offering one of their own where you put your head of lettuce in this bowl and turn it over and it has slices in it and you put the knife through it and it will slice up your, your lettuce. Um, you know, could be easier than what you saw me do tonight. Another one that I know I'm going to order is called the bag clip and slice set. And what that does is it it's a, a baggy clip. So just think of a chip clip bag that you that you clip on your, your chips. It's got a magnet on the back, but it also has a slicer. So you can take a bag of something like cereal, that seems to be always an, a hard one for, to open, and you put it on there and slide it across and it, it, clip, it cuts the bag clean, and then you can use that clip to clip it shut as well. Um, and then there's a new uh, spatula tongs. 
Um, the way I describe that is they're really like full size spatula. I'll show you mine.
This is one of the products that I know I'm definitely going to get is called the cup slicer. So as I showed you with the egg slicer plus, um, it is now a box with blades in it. And all you do is push down on your, your things on top of much like the food chopper on onto the cutting board and it chops as it, and it collects it in, in this cup. So I thought, Oh, that looks really great. Like for strawberries a lot quicker than um, doing one at a time. You just go on the board and, and cut them. And then there's a dual sided cleaning brush. This is a, what I would call for the kitchen sink. Um, when you need to get something, you know, that's very tiny with detail clean, it has a little brush and a little poker at the other end. Um, and then they have a solid cutting bowl. So these have been on the market, um, but Pamper Chef is now offering one of their own where you put your head of lettuce in this bowl and turn it over and it has slices in it and you put the knife through it and it will slice up your, your lettuce. Um, you know, could be easier than what you saw me do tonight. Another one that I know I'm going to order is called the bag clip and slice set. And what that does is it, it's a, a baggy clip. So just think of a chip clip bag that you, that you clip on your, your chips. It's got a magnet on the back, but it also has a slicer. So you can take a bag of something like cereal that seems to be always an, a hard one for, to open and you put it on there and slide it across and it, it clip, it cuts the bag clean, and then you can use that clip to clip it shut as well. Um, and then there's a new uh, spatula tongs. Um, the way I describe that is they're really like full size spatula. I'll show you mine. So I, I would say it's this size spatula, but it's two of them on a tong. So um, that, that's gonna be, out available March 1. And then as I mentioned, I really do love my my kitchen uh, knives. They now have a full set of coated kitchen knives. So they've always had kitchen knives, um, but now they, they are coated, so they are now dishwasher safe. And you can get them not only in a set or individually. The other thing that I will probably get because my husband does a lot of the um, cleaning um, the dishes, and he could use some help sometimes. So this is a utensil scrubber. Um, it looks like a jaws with bristles on each, like a, a mouth. And you can slide your knife through the cleaner or any other product and it will clean or you can lay it flat and use it as a scrubber that way. Um, and then I already mentioned the 12, uh, there's now a 12 inch cast iron. So um, you can see behind me, I have my cast iron that's always sitting out on my counter um, because they're heavy. <laughs> but they now they also have a cast iron, a new cast iron that, see I think this one, the 10 inch, but um, you see how it's flat inside? They now have one that is uh, grilled, has a grilled mark. And then they have the cast iron uh, grill. It's not a cover, but it's it's what you use to it, the press, the grill press. So you can do your burgers in there and put a press on top. And then, um, as I mentioned earlier, the new um, deluxe stand mixer and pour spout. They also, Pampered Chef has really come out with a lot of new appliances is what I would call them. Um, they have a um, an air fryer, and now they're coming out with, or they're adding to the multi-cooker, and that's like an air fryer, but they're, they have a lot of attachments that go with it. And then what's new in, in spring is they have what's called the deluxe cooking blender. And so initially when I looked at that, I thought, oh, I don't know. But then I read more about it, and I'm, I'm so intrigued now that I'm like, oh, I might have to get that, um, because it it's only for hostesses and it blends, it cooks. I mean, it cooks in the blender. And then it says, and when it's done, it cleans itself. So now just for that fact, I, I might have to get it and see, but I thought that was really unique. Um, there's also a tart pan uh, with a lid. Now I had a tart pan many years ago from, you know, I, I think it, 
probably was maybe Tupperware. Loved it. And I used it all the time for we do um, we do stuffed green peppers every every fall. And it worked as perfect because the recipe is for the microwave, which I love. But the pan somehow cracked and I was like, oh, dang it. It's just the perfect pan. Well, now Pamper Chef came out with with a pan like that. So um, check into that. The other thing is, you know, depending on who um, who who's online and, and what's going on in your life, um, they now have you've everybody has seen that um, the surprise cakes when people get pregnant have a baby, then they do these reveal parties. Well, now they have a cake set where you can do a surprise inside. So it doesn't have to just be for baby reveals. You can do it for um, just the fun of it, put different things inside, but that's kind of cute. And then I did, as I showed you, I used, I don't know what, oh, I used what's called the large scoop. They now have an extra large scoop, which, you know, sometimes I made the uh, shepherd pie uh, video a couple weeks ago. And, and that one, you would want a extra large. They also came out with a sourdough bread mix. Um, that's something that a lot of folks aren't aware of is that Pampered Chef has a full line of mixes or spices and seasoning. It's in rubs, as well as um, they call them like meal mixes um, or, you know, just bread mixes. So the sourdough bread's a new one. Um, another new spice this year is called black truffle and herb. Um, I did order one of those, have not uh, tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. As well as the last item, number 20, this is like a countdown list, the green goddess seasoning mix. So excited to um, try that as well. Um, geez, I've rambled just about perfect. We have about two minutes left on the baking. Let me just check to make sure we aren't overcooking. This is what's handy is I can use all my stuff that I have right by me. These are the Pampered Chef um, oven mitts. So I'm going to just make space for the ring to come back out. And this is a, an oldie Pampered Chef, but that's going to be my pot holder for the stone. Oh, you're going to wish you were right here. It smells so good. I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see again. Look at that. Yummy. Okay. I'm going to push it up a little bit so you guys can see better. There. Okay, so to finish this off, I'm gonna take my pepper and put it back in the middle. I'm going to garnish the inside with my lettuce. I don't know if you can hear it, it's sizzling. That's what I like about the stoneware, if you don't have any, um, you can see mine has a patina on it. We've used it so much, but what we like is you can bring it to the table and we'll cut this up into pieces and it's, the pieces stay warm while they're sitting on the, the stone while you're eating. You could use salsa in the middle. Um, we, we like taco sauce, so I'm, I'm just filling it with the taco sauce. Then I'm going back to um, the, the garnishes that we cut up. So just put a little onion around. It's ready. A few of the black olives. and then the tomatoes. I 
Now you could um, garnish this with, uh, with some sour cream. You could use the, the accent decorator, um, but we're not a sour 